You know, I promote turmeric a lot because it's one of the most amazing herbs for inflammation and many other things. Uh, but I always have people that comment, you know, you don't want to heat it because it's going to destroy the phytonutrients. So I just want to let you know that is a complete myth. You would think heat will destroy all compounds, but in the case with certain herbal remedies, apparently it seems to enhance certain phytonutrients, which is quite ironic because heat destroys enzymes. Now, just as a quick side note, I had the idea that heat destroyed things. And that's why one time I promoted a video talking about um, sardines. And uh, when they can sardines, they destroy the omega-3. And I just assume that, of course, I never tested it. And I put this video out. And then I felt a little weird about putting the video out when I personally did never tested the omega-3 from canned tuna or sardines. So I actually sent it to the lab to test it. It cost me like four grand, but I found out there were a good amount of omega-3 fatty acids in both sardines and canned tuna. So I, I redid the video and put that data out. And I was actually quite surprised because I know they used high heats. So apparently when you cook things, it, it might destroy certain things, but not other things. But this video is on turmeric because it's such a powerful and uh, popular compound. Now, this is based on a couple studies, which I'm going to put the link down below, where they measured the total antioxidant capacity. So people use turmeric in drinks, supplements, in, um, in their teas, in their food, and a lot of times they heat it. So in this study that this video is about, they tested roasting, boiling, and cooking at temperatures of 180 degrees Celsius, which is 356 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very hot. And for 70 minutes, and they found certain compounds, and I'm going to talk about three, three very powerful antioxidants survived, in fact, were enhanced with this heat. So apparently there's a name for it. It's called thermal degradation. So apparently it enhances the concentration and it increases the solubility of certain phytonutrients. So the first one is for ulic acid. So this is an antioxidant. Uh, it's great for your skin to protect the skin. It's good to also counter sun damage. That phytonutrient was enhanced. The next one is called 4-vinyl guaiacol. And this compound enhances something called NRF2, which does two things. It decreases cellular stress and it increases the antioxidant defense mechanism in your body. So it's going to help your immune system. It's going to help inflammation. And the last one is called valinin, which is the compound in vanilla. And this uh, is a very powerful antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory and it's also antimicrobial. It's used even as a preservative. So anyway, the next time you cook or use turmeric in your foods, don't be too concerned about cooking it because there will be some positive benefits in these compounds. So if you're enjoying my content, which I hope you are, and you're applying this knowledge to your health and you have a success, I'd really appreciate you sharing your success story. So click the link down below to my website where you can upload your success story so you can help inspire others.